There has been a, an evolutionary, maybe re really even a, a revolutionary change in how psychotherapy um, is done these days. Uh, for a long time, and continuing today, it's cognitive behavioral therapy, which is helping you to kind of seize control of your thinking, and your thinking as it takes you to places of worry and anxiety, etc., or depression, where you just sort of give up. But it's, it's a thought problem. And so for years, cognitive behavioral therapy has had great impact and great success helping people uh, to take better control of your cognition. The revolution has come with the advance in brain scanning and brain imagery, which has been combined with the resources of cognitive behavioral therapy, the neuroscience of this, to introduce them another part of the brain that has profound impact on everything that we do. Have you ever heard of the amygdala? <laughs> you might have. You may have heard it by name or you may be aware of it in its activity and function. The amygdala is the fight or flight response. Uh, it's the siren, if you will, or the fire alarm in your brain. And it's pretty intuitive from an evolutionary point of view. It goes way back in our evolutionary history that when you saw a lion, your amygdala lit up, run! And you probably have heard this in that when the amygdala, when your brain raises an alarm of danger or panic, it causes a reaction of either fight or flight or freeze. Where do you find yourself in that situation? You know, do you react with fight or flight or freeze? You know, you can, you can sort of find yourself when you reflect on that. Well, let's pull back the drama of that, something so, uh, so over the top as causing you to fight or flight or freeze. But talk about when you are in situations that cause you to have an emotional reaction, when you're worried about something or have an anxiety attack that's significant, it means that your amygdala has ignited and lit something up that has caused a sense of danger to your frontal cortex that you have to interpret and say, what's going on here? We've all had those experiences regularly. Not always in terms of fight, flight, or freeze. I mean, you know, you're in a car accident or something horrible happens or you're in danger. You get that at a primitive level. I'm talking about just thoughts that get so out of hand and spin up so much that you have a physical, physiological reaction. That's your amygdala lighting up. Cognitive behavioral therapy, and when you take control of the legitimacy of your thoughts, which thoughts are valid and which thoughts are only just scaring yourself in anxiety, it helps to kind of put the amygdala back to sleep, to calm your body down. And so cognitive behavioral therapy done with someone who is literate about this neuroscience uh, of cognition uh, has had enormous success in helping people alter their lives, alter their life. Here's something else about the amygdala. It's not like your cortex that interprets cognitively thinking the way we do. It's ignited by associations. Think about that. It's an association that it makes when it, in, you encounter something or see something or feel something that causes it because it's an association to ignite and light up. Those associations sometimes are completely valid. If you're in your car and all of a sudden you come to a stop sign and you go start going through and you realize someone is coming to the side and they may not stop, <gasps> you slam on the brakes, that's a fight, flight, or freeze reaction of the amygdala to save you and to save your life. And then you calm down and there may be some lingering worries, but your amygdala calms down. But when it happens just simply with thinking, worrying, predicting, and interpreting something that might happen, that's when you really need to kind of take charge. And when I did my, my um, video on breathing, that's the perfect example where that deep breathing helps to calm down your fight or flight freeze amygdala response, okay? Take charge of your body. Take charge of it. <laughs>